Hi everyone, we are doing another video today from Rooms of Wonder and this is the page with um, 15 different smaller magical items on and I have picked this cauldron for today. I just thought it would be a lot of fun um, and it's sort of a bit Halloween-y so I thought it would be good. Now we have fire and flames licking up the bottom of our cauldron. Now I don't do fire correctly. I don't go and look up how fire looks and try and copy it. I just do it my own way and uh, we're going to do that and you can have a look and see what you think whether it's something you want to have a go at or not. Um, you could look up a picture of fire and try to copy it but I find that quite difficult so um, I'm just going to have a go. So I'm going to start with a red. I've got my polychromos out again today. I'm going to use them on this page and I'm going to use the pale geranium lake for the very bottom of the fire. I like to do my red at the bottom. If you look at a proper flame, it doesn't tend to look like this. But I think, you know, you've got your glowing coals, embers or whatever at the bottom. And that's why I like to do it red. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm putting more intense colour at the very bottom of these uh, flames down here so a really intense bit down here so layering it up and then this layers up so that we can blend the next colour in I'm not sure how many colours I use I'll just see how it goes really I love the fact that it's spilling something over the edge it's such a sort of fun picture lots going on you know sort of movement sort of thing you know flames licking potions spilling I think it's great fun. Now with your potion you want to think of a good colour that will uh, stand out I think look very magical and it's often tempting to do this sort of foam in a sort of white or something but we won't we'll come up with something fun but I'll do the rest first I expect. Okay so that's my red it's quite a small area but we're going to move to um, this colour probably. What colour is that? No. This colour. This is the dark cadmium orange. So we're moving into orange. I'm going to go right over that red. You might be able to hear my washing machine in the background. It's been very noisy. And I want to get a really intense layer down and then a light a bit like that. I think it's a really lovely bright colour. So that's what I am doing. I've got no workmen in today and possibly not tomorrow so I'm hoping to get a good batch of videos made. Um, I can't wait until I've got time to make two proper videos a day for you but that's not going to happen for a while. I need to get all the work done. I've got it's sort of bits and pieces left to do. I've definitely got someone coming in this week to do something but I think the electricians are coming back this week. Um, I have got um, um, a, a boiler man coming at some point. I need to organise someone to come and service my house alarm and things like that. So there's lots of little bits and pieces going on. Now I'm going to go with the cadmium orange. I'm not, I want to make the tips yellowy, so I'm going to go over the whole of it just to really make that colour very intense and take this up just a little way, not right to the tip, but fade it up a little bit. Um, yes, there's still a lot going on and then on, um, we're in, I can't remember the, what the date is today, but on Friday my children have... A day of college and then the following week off it's a uh, half term and then so that means that well, I probably can record but um, I might want to do a few things with them on Monday we're out we're, um, I'm just picking my yellow because I'm only going to use the one yellow I'm just going to sharpen it and I want it to definitely look yellow but be orange enough to blend with the orange so I've picked this one, which is the dark cadmium yellow. That's better, isn't it? And we're going to go over the whole... I'm going to start the top of the tip 
and just take it down as far as I think it needs until it blends in. I don't want to go over the whole of the flame because I want it to look darker at the bottom. I mean, the the um, polychromos don't tend to sit right on top and fade too much, but even so. Yeah, on Monday we're going to my mum's, which will be nice. Um, it's uh, my son's got a hospital appointment just for his teeth, his braces, and it's in the town where my mum lives. So we're going to go to see my mum, and uh, that will be nice. And then I'll take my son, I can just walk to the hospital from her house at some point in the afternoon. Right, so there are the flames. I rather like, I mean, it's the same technique I use for a sunset or a sunrise, but I think it looks quite pretty. Now we've got our cauldron. Now we've got one star here, and then these stars around here. Hmm, I'm thinking whether do I ignore those stars and colour over, colour over it, and then I'm gonna, what colour should I do them later, or should I decide on the colour now? I think the colour of the stars will be determined by the colour of the potion. Hmm, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna try and colour around it. I'm gonna use the Payne's Grey for the cauldron. I might do the handle in a more silvery colour, but we're just gonna go for it. Now I'm thinking that the, this is cauldron and all of this. I'm going to start with these handle bits because they're easier for me anyway. So I want it to be darker here. I want it to shine a little bit because I want it to look, I think it'd be like an iron pot. I'm sure there will be some shine on it. So I'm just going to leave it a bit lighter there. And the same on this side. I try and make them look the same. So I'm just um, building up the colour here and then do that a little less as we go up to there like that and then this one is a bit darker here because we will have the shadow from the cauldron here and from this um, handle piece there now I'm going to do this sort of rim brim rim whatever it is now I want to do it darker here and lighter towards the middle I'm going to do that first and we'll think about the shadow from the um, potion a bit later. So I'm just going over that a bit more because I want this bit to be lighter. There we go. Sorry the book keeps moving. I hold it down. Try and hold it down there in a way that it doesn't shadow it too much. So now this bit. So this is going to be my darkest area this side so I can put down quite a few layers back and forth. I can always go back over it later so I don't need to worry and I can always add in some black if it really isn't quite as intense as I'd hoped. So we're going to start pulling the colour in towards the middle and sort of fading as we go. Now again these flames they might be darker down there. I'm just doing, I'm concentrating on trying to get my pot looking like it's got a bit of a shine in the middle, then we'll worry about the shadowing. I'm going to come from this side now. I tend to do a bit from one side, then a bit from the other, and that helps me to find the middle more easily. Although we could probably work it out, it's probably about there, isn't it? Um, just from there where the handle comes to the top. But I just find this a little bit easier. So we're just starting to put less layers as we go towards the centre. It will be quite faint in the middle, at least to start with. So this bit a bit darker. I'm trying to go around that star. I haven't thought about what I'm doing with it yet. So you could easily use a glittery gel pen. For it. And if you've decided you want to do that, then by all means colour over it. It's a bit easier to get a nice even um, colour if um, you're not trying to colour around a lot of awkward little bits and bobs. Right, that's going to be our lightest bit there. Ooh! <laughs> the sleeve of my card again. Right, so now I want to 
emphasize that more. So for me that's too pale for too big an area so I need to start bringing in this darker color a little bit more. Like that and just as we go just fading a little. I didn't do that bit I'm just going to put a bit of color there and the same on this side. So just make it, trying to get it sort of evenish. It's not always that easy. And sort of fading towards the middle. So I don't want to really go over that central bit very much. Let me have a look. I'm looking in the camera as well as in my actual, on my page. I still want that bit to be a bit dark. There, I'm happy with that. Now I picked the Payne's grey because I really like it. It's uh, a little bit of a different type of grey to some of the others. Um, I don't know, it's a cold grey still so it works well for this sort of thing. It's just got more interesting tones of colour in it. Okay, now I'm going to think about the shadowing. This little bit down here I think would be quite dark. So I'm just going to go over it a few times and I'm thinking down here it would be darker. Now you would get some flickering on it from the flames and things, that's just too complicated. Let's keep it simple and just make it a little bit darker at the bottom here. We don't need to make it too tricky for ourselves. Now I thinking I'm just going to put a bit under the star, a bit of shadow, and around here, under this sort of foamy potion, I think I know what colour I'm going to do it now. But you'll have to wait. Gosh, there's emergency services outside. Can I hear them? Now this um, sort of rim bit. I'd like to do a bit of shadow under there. So you just can go back and forth. Just emphasize it a little bit more. Hmm. Yeah, I'm happy with that. But for the handle I'm gonna do it a lighter colour. I'm sure I knock some pencils on the floor just now. Anyway, I'm just sorting them out, sorry. Um let's go with this one. This is sticking with the cold grey. This is cold grey six. Is it or is it five? It's cold grey five. <laughs> Apparently I can't read. And I still want to start it quite intensely dark here. And then I'm going to fade it up towards the top and actually have none up here so it looks shiny. I'm thinking this is a sort of slightly lighter hand coloured handle. I don't know why. I just sort of would make it a bit more interesting. Now the darker we do this bit the more shiny this bit will look because um, there's more of a contrast. Okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the potion and then I'm going to do this sort of bit around here. I'm not going to do backgrounds on many of these pictures but I just figured maybe it's emitting a sort of coloured gas which we're going to, so it's going to be a really gentle, easy um, layer of colour. But we're going to start with our potion. I did this colour um, in a cauldron the other day for a picture. This is the um, cobalt green and it looked really nice so I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to put on a lightish layer to start with because I don't want it all to be an identical colour. Now, do, although this is called cobalt green to me it always looks like a turquoisey blue but my the way I see colour apparently isn't always right according to my husband but I think men and women see colours a little bit differently so uh, anyway so I've done a rough layer and it is quite rough but I'm going to treat do each little tiny section now so this one is quite far behind so I want it to look a little bit darker like that and the same with this one here 
Now you could use a darker pencil, but I find just layering up this one is nice because it's such a pretty colour. Like that. Now this one I still want it a bit neater, but I don't want it too dark, so I'm just going to do a light layer over it until it looks as neat as I'd like. So basically I'm trying to even out the um, amount of pencil a little bit. But this is all one big piece. And it's just a little bit paler than those bits and I quite like it looking like that. Now I was thinking for this sort of backgroundy bit, I thought a nice, a sort of pink might work. And I'm thinking the light magenta. Let's see if I can tip it so you can actually see the name on the... I don't know if that is readable. Mm, tricky. The sun's coming in now. So I'm going to sort of... I'm thinking about where do I do this sort of layer. And I'm thinking I want to encompass all of the stars. So we'll sort of start here. And it needs to be quite light. So I'm holding my pencil quite far down. And um, just pressing as gently as I can. And uh, just circling those stars. I still haven't decided what I'm doing with the stars yet. <laughs> but hey, we'll get there in a minute. So we've got a sort of curve of gas, which I think is quite fun. And then we'll do all the bit inside the handle here. Again, try and keep it the same amount of colour on the page as the um, as the outside so it sort of matches. I don't even know if you can see that very well. I'm struggling to see my screen because the sun is shining in my eyes so I don't know how well that sh shows up. I didn't want it to be very dark. It is quite light. Now our stars, I've got to make a decision. <laughs> I've been delaying haven't I? Now I'm firstly thinking this, the cobalt turquoise because it's just another shade up from that. But I'm wondering if that's a bit boring. We've done some pink, we've done some greeny blue. Mm, I could do yellow, but I think that's not. I think I am going to do this colour. Let's just give it a sharpen because they're very small. So this, as I said, is the cobalt turquoise. Have a look and see what you think. So I'm going to do this star here. And then all of the stars around. Oops. I was trying to do it so my hand wasn't in the, the forefront of the shot and then I went out of the lines. And I think these little circles as well. Now you could choose to do this in a sparkly gel pen. I think it would look rather nice. You could use some stickers for these dots or some glitter pen as well. I'm just doing it in pencil just really because I only fancy doing pencil today and to help people who may not have those other options so just so you can see what it looks like now the pink has got quite a harsh outline I haven't tried to fade it right out I find that really difficult and I think if I kept doing it I would end up um, going into the but that's really close above, I'd probably end up going into that. So I have left it um, just as a little arc of gas. But um, if you're good at fading it out, I think I would try that. Or you could use just a little bit of pink pastel, um, you know, um, chalk pastel, and just do a little bit, and that's much easier to fade. But I'm going to leave it like that. I hope that was okay for you. I had good fun. Um, I'm going to choose another Halloween-y one to do as well from this page for a few um, maybe one more and uh, I do need to do a few other books as well before um, Halloween. I've got quite a few to choose from which I'm very lucky. But for now, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you have a really lovely day and happy colouring.